Hey there YouTube, morning, we got our uh, Ixalan stuff in, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick uh, box opening, check out the promo, okay, and then here's the new buy a box promo pack, the dino size pack as they said, go ahead and start by opening that up, see what's in here. Okay, we got uh, Old Growth Dryads, Cultivator's Caravan, not really what I want to see, Wildfire Eternal, that's cool, a Johnny Unyielding, Daring Saboteur, a foil, Trial of Solidarity, <coughs> and we got um, two foil lands and another Burning Suns Avatar. So, pretty cool. Um, <laughs> the Cultivator's Caravan's funny. Uh, but, alright. Not bad. Better than getting one card in a buy a box promo. And here's our, um, here's our box. Let's see if open it up here. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Starting off, first pack. I'm gonna go kind of quick because um, I noticed from the last video that it takes a while, it's a little slow. Okay. What do we get? Coppola, Warden of Waves, and a Sky March Blood Letter. Cool. There we go. Huatli Warrior Poet. Awesome. That is going to be really good for my Naya mid-range dinosaurs deck that I'd like to make. Um, and that was really the main card I wanted to get in the whole set, so I am happy right now. Awesome. Um, we got Bishop of Rebirth. Oh, I've gotten so many of this card. And you know what? I just don't like this card. I thought it was cool when I got it at the pre-release, but I've gotten like six of these things now. I'm sick of it. Stupid card. It's no good. Um, throw it in the rear pile. I don't know. Maybe I'm not just playing it right. Maybe in a dedicated vampire deck it would be really cool. Because it does pull your stuff in the graveyard when it attacks. Um, that is pretty strong. But... I don't know. Ripjaw Raptor. Sweet! This box is starting off really nice. Okay. Got 
Waker of the Wilds. Damage the cards. Dusk Legion up. Sanguine Sacrament. Sure, didn't get a foil in there. Well, the glue is holding out much better on these packs. Gotta say. Um. So, oh, Raging Sword Tooth. Um, looks pretty cool. Argwheel's Bloodfast. Um, here we go. So, yeah, um, as far as decks I'm going to make, I, I really think I'm going to do a mid range Night Dinosaurs. At least I'm going to try it out. Um, and. I'm going to go for maybe a Grixis Pirates deck and try to sneak uh, Bolas in there somewhere. There's some interesting combos with the Pirates. Um, I got my butt kicked yesterday rampaging for Rossadon by, at Friday Night Magic, by um, a guy that was playing uh, like a Pirates deck with the Scarab God. And that was pretty powerful because... Um, you know, he got through his entire graveyard by the end of the game, reanimating um, his little pirates into 4-4 four, four, uh, zombies, and then by the end of it, he was dipping into my graveyard and pulling out 4-4 four, four dinos. Legion's Landing. I think I've either got a full play set, or I know I've got three now for sure. I got one in each pre-release, so I at least got three of those now. And that's a good card. I think it's going to see a lot of play. It's very, very cool. Let's see. Dragon Skull Summit. That's awesome. Another one of the new dual lands. Cool. All right, I'm got a, a good feeling about this box. Having a good time with it so far. Gotten some good stuff that we wanted. What is this? Crush the ramparts. Oh, okay. Um, Daring saboteur. We got one of those in our um, in our promo box, right? Was that a? Throw this guy in here. During saboteur, yeah. Another burning sun's avatar, yeah. We'll do that. Okay. I'm trying to keep all my eggs along together here. Dream Caller Siren. Um, I'm not a fan of that card. I uh, pulled it up pre release, tried to use it, and it was just a dead card nine times out of ten. I think I maybe played it once. Not really sure here. About a third of the way through the box now. Spell Swindle. Right. Repeating Barrage. Okay. 
These packs are snappy. Glue's good on them. What I have noticed though is some of the packs come washed out. Um, like the texture's off, the matte finish on the outside is uh, off. Let's see. Charging Monster Sore, that's what I lost to the first pre release at. Dire Fleet Captain, awesome card. Entrancing Melody. Let's see if I can find one of these washed out cards real quick. Uh, I don't know. If, uh, if I can find one, I'll, I'll find it for you. Okay, let's just go to the next pack. Shadowed Caraval. Vehicles, I don't think anybody is that excited about this time. Um, I guess jury's out. Maybe they'll find something cool to do with one of them, but I don't think any of the ones from this set have been exciting. Drowned Catacomb. Awesome. I will take all the dual lands they want to give me. Glue's a lot better on these than like some of those almond cat packs. That's good. Let's get that nice crack. You open it. Angrath's Marauders. Okay. Running looter, ah, settle the wreckage. Okay. Glacial Fortress and Foil Stormfleet Spy. Cool. Drover the Mighty, I'm needing. More of those guys. That's good. Is that the, is that the same as the other blue white land we got? Oh no, we got one of those. Okay, I had a blue white land the other day. I don't want the prize packs. That's what it was. We're getting, let's see, Odepec Hunt Master, awesome. Oh, Vanquisher's Banner, that's awesome, that's a good card. I was going to include, like, one of those in the dinos, see how that works for me. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, it's as Vanquisher's Banner enters the battlefield, choose creature type, so good for the tribal stuff. Uh, creatures you control, the chosen type, get plus one, plus one. Whenever you cast a creature spell of the chosen type, draw a card. So you get card draw, you get a little boost. Um... It's just a cool card. Goring Ceratops. And a Foil Mountain. I came to find out I like the Goring Ceratops. <coughs> I didn't think I did. But, um... I got him on the board last night with uh, the, little, the modified uh, intro deck. They're Boros Agro Dinosaurs. And, you know, he did a lot of work. Walk the Plank, Conqueror's Galleon. And that's the one that flips, I believe, right? Flips. Yeah, Conqueror's Foothold. Okay, nice. But yeah, got them on the board, and I used, um, what do you call it, the alternate Watley, and pumped him up, and had my whole board swinging for double strikes, and that was pretty awesome. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Jace Cunning Castaway. Oh, that's good. Okay. Pulled both Planeswalkers out of the same box. It's always good. Okay. Cool, cool. About two-thirds of the way through the box now. We got, um... Uh, maybe a dozen packs to go. Pretty happy with my pulls. Dire Fleet Ravager. Got some dual lands. Got about three dual lands so far. Got the. Uh, I'd like to see a Carnosaur Alpha. Carnage Tyrant would be really cool. That would be really nice. So I'll go into my decks for F and M. Let's see, Sky Terror. That's a cool card. Dead Eye Tracker. Vona, Butcher of Magan. Um, I think that card would be really good in Vampire deck. I've heard like mixed things like, oh, it's too much and blah, 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 blah. But no, like I think with Vampires, um, this and Conqueror's Banner be pretty strong. Because, you know, you're going to you're gonna have Conqueror's Banner out and then Vampires usually have stuff that pumps other Vampires too. So, especially if you can drop something on her that makes her um, flying. Okay. Last, uh, last stack of packs here. Go ahead and pop these open. Jedi Plunders, Rune Raider. That guy beat me up a bit at the pre release. Hmm. It's a tough one. Sanctum Seeker. Okay. Pulling vampires now, huh? Gotta say, I'm happier. I'm much happier with the tightness of the seal on the packs. Um, they're a lot snappier. Amonkhet, like kind of the packs tore apart really easy. Felt like. Rotting Looter. Ah, Sun Petal Grove. Cool. Another dual land. Like I said, I will take as many of those as they want to give. Because I need all of them. Let's see. Thematic Compass. I think that was one of my <laughs> pre-release pulls. I got Dousing Dagger and I think Thematic Compass for my pre-release stamped foil promos. Dousing Dagger is cool though. It's like a little bit of fail. Captain Lannery Storm. And a bright reprisal. Maverin Fiend, Dusk Apostle. I haven't seen him yet. Okay. 
Burning Sun's avatar? Well, I'm pretty sure that's a full playset now. Because I think I had one in my uh, intro deck. Because I was playing it yesterday. It's a little hard to board, at least with the um, intro deck it was. That three red's tough if you're playing multiple colors. So I don't know how much... I don't know how much play he's going to see. I mean, there's so much other good stuff. Tianali's Skin Shifter. Last pack, guys. Here we go. Trying to tear its way through the door to get to me. Revel and Riches. Okay, that was a good box. I'm very happy with the contents. Let's go through the rares real quick. I think, especially with that buy a box promo pack, I mean, you really, really get your chase. That's awesome. You get your money's worth, I think. Um, it helps a lot. Makes you feel better, at least. Dragon Skull Summit. And, of course, Swatley. I will get a lot of play out of that guy, I'm pretty sure. Out of her, I think. I think it's her. Um, yeah, like I said, I, it's, it would have been cooler to not get Kaladesh stuff. Um, but, you know, it's cool. I mean, a Planeswalker, right? Trade him out, probably. I have an Ajani, so that'll go in the trade binder. Oh.